Hello, everybody, and welcome. I'm Brandon Gordon. Very pleased to be joined by the new head men's basketball coach at Georgia Tech, Mr. Josh Passner. First off, I know that this has been a whirlwind for you. Congratulations. How does it feel? Well, thank you. you know, it's been a whirlwind. Um, uh, first of all, I'm honored and privileged to be here. Uh, when you look at the uh, history of this program, uh, just with Coach Kremens, Coach Hewitt, obviously, I mean, just the amount of pros that have come through the, the program he, re, I mean, and the guys currently playing in the NBA are the ones that obviously have retired. When you go in that locker room and you see that, it's just, it's, a, it's surreal. Um, I think this program can be a gold mine. We want to build a, a championship level program where you're able to sustain it and compete at the highest level year in, year out. But it's going to take time. I mean, we're, we're going to have to take a step back to go two steps forward. That doesn't mean we're not going to try to win every game next year and fight, scrap, claw, and kick and give it all we have to try to win, but um, uh, we're, 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 it's going to take some multiple recruiting classes to kind of get it where we want to get it to where it's sustainable. Coach, I know you're not going to sit here and tell us who your staff's going to be. You're working through that. My question is more, do you have a timeline in mind, and how do you work through that? This is now your second time going through this. How do you go and vet through that process? You know what? Um, I mean, I tell you, when the first time I was at Memphis and we had this, I was by myself for a while. I took my time. And I've done this before where I've, you know, I've had five guys off my staff be head coaches, which included Luke Walton was on my staff when he was a little, you know, uh, there for a little bit. So I've lost a lot of guys to head jobs from assistants. So I've been through this. The difference is right now, um, here, here's the difference for me, is I want to be real taking my time, but I want to be meticulous in everything that I do. And that includes staff hires. The issue with that is it's going to put me behind the eight ball. But I'd rather be put behind the eight ball and catch up in May than make a wrong hire because it was just a rush because you just feel like you have so much going on, you need to get it off your plate, and then what happens is it bites you in the butt. So I'm going to be meticulous. That means there's probably going to be people that I miss talking to that I should be calling because I just can't do everything because I still got to work our guys out. I got to recruit. There's got to be the head coach. We're really like a CEO of a program, of a, of a company. So I, I have a timeline. But it's not a fast timeline. And speaking of the guys on the team, when you came in, met with them for the first time, what was that meeting like? What did you say to them? Good meeting with the guys. Just told them that I think they have a chance to be a, uh, uh, they're a good group, good core group. Uh, I thought Coach Gregory, what he did here with the culture. I mean, it's so nice that you walk into a place where you don't have to worry about culture. Um, look, I told the guys, I mean, obviously, you, you know, Georgia Tech lost a lot of scoring. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's not a lot of guys back from, that have played major minutes right. last year. So. It's really a brand new team. And um, so I told the guys, I really don't have a, a judgment on you. I mean, it's your opportunity to earn the right to show me what you can do. But I would tell the fans is that it's, you know, that, that I know the vision where we want to get to. I know what the fans want, but it's going to be a process. We, we, got to just, we got to just take it day by day, knowing that we're going to have to go backwards to go forward, knowing that there might be some struggle to have progress later on. And uh, we just want to keep grinding so we can keep moving the needle. Very last thing, and you and I will dive more into this later, so we don't need to tell your whole life story, but for those who don't know, your dad was a big staple in the Houston basketball area when you were growing up. You were a head coach of the AAU program at 16, so basketball has really been your life from the get-go, hasn't it? I've been around basketball my entire life, and we, we'll, as we get to you know <laughs> talking more, which we'll do more of these, um, I can tell you more of my back, my you know my backstory. But uh, um, I've always wanted to be a Division One head coach. When I was in fifth grade, I was watching the Celtics Lakers on one of the national networks, and it was a Saturday afternoon game. And I told my father, I want to stay in the game of basketball, and I knew the next best thing to playing was coaching. And I wasn't going to play in the NBA. I was not blessed with great ability from my parents, so. Um, I knew my best thing, to, the next best thing to stay in the game was not not playing was coaching. It kept you in the adrenaline rush, and I really put a lot of my energy. Even though I kept playing in, in you know throughout my prep career, I it, it, you, you you put your energies and focus towards being a coach. Yeah, well, it's worked, and congratulations. We're darn glad. I, I'm to I'm excited, looking forward to it, and uh, um, and as I said before, this is we need the entire city, we need the entire community. We need everyone. This is this is not my team. It's our team. It's us. We got to get in this together. We got to wrap our arms around it and get Georgia Tech back to where everyone wants to get it back to. Not just me, but everybody else. But it's going to take a village to do that. Not one person. It's going to be everybody putting their putting their hands in it to, to help us get back to where we want to get to. Headman's basketball coach Josh Pastner. I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching. Keep it locked here for more on RamblinRec.com.